So basically with um, one purchase of an ETF, you automatically have access to a whole diversity of different um, companies right from the start. Hello everyone, this is Rodan Blue. I'm just taking my daily walk here today. And today's topic would be on why you should buy ETFs. So for those that don't know, ETF stands for Exchange Traded Funds and they're a great investment choice for uh, small and large investors alike. And uh, roughly about one in four investors today have ETFs within their portfolio and it's actually growing in popularity. It's much similar to uh, mutual funds. So basically when you buy one share of an ETF, you're buying like a bundle of different companies. So. Unlike uh, mutual funds, um, ETFs are actually traded directly on the uh, stock exchange. A lot of people actually choose ETFs um, because it matches their uh, Im investment strategy. But um, there are some key differences between um, ETFs as well as uh, mutual funds. But some of the advantages you have for ETFs uh, would be that first off, you can um, sell ETFs at any time during the trading day. Uh, whereas uh, mutual funds you can't and also the uh, management um, fees as well for ETFs are much lower on average as well. They are also um, a lot more tax friendly as well um, compared to mutual funds. But the reason why that uh, many investors like the ETF is because they can pretty much buy any individual share um, at any time. But uh, there are some disadvantages as well like the uh, brokerage fees that you have to pay. But ETFs could definitely give you uh, access to a broad range of investment choices uh, such as the uh, foreign exchanges as well as the emerging markets as well. So you have to keep that in mind as well. But if you are looking to uh, trade quite frequently uh, using ETFs, uh, you have to keep in mind that um, the fees associated uh, comes both with buying and selling. So it could turn out to be somewhat of a disadvantage if you trade uh, frequently. And there's also uh, management fees on top of uh, those uh, trading fees as well. But depending on the uh, type of ETF that you do purchase, sometimes it may even turn out to be uh, less expensive than mutual funds uh, with a lower MER or management expense ratio. Another reason why ETFs would be good is it's uh, good for individuals with small amounts of money. So you don't have to have a lot of money to start off and uh, what well, ends up happening is you'll be diversified right away with um, ETFs. With um, one purchase of an ETF, you automatically have access to a whole diversity of different um, companies right from the start. So not only is it cost effective, but um, it also protects you from volatility as well. And um, if one of the companies within that package happens to fail, it probably wouldn't affect the, the entire ETF. It's also something that's very comfortable for a lot of people as well um, because uh, it gets managed by others. But if you are overall um, comfortable with reading uh, financial statements or um, looking at the payout ratios or uh, dividend yields or uh, managing your portfolio yourself, um, then by all means you can uh, purchase uh, dividends instead. But uh, if not, ETFs is a really good way for you to have another company uh, manage all of the uh, companies there within your portfolio and you wouldn't have to do a thing at all. But the uh, issue with this is that um, usually the yields uh, aren't as high compared to uh, picking individual stocks. Like uh, for dividend stocks, it's uh, much lower. But for ETFs, you won't have the ability to um, manage those individual stocks. So you'll never be able to uh, sell a stock if um, a particular company isn't doing well. So some people see that as an advantage or a disadvantage, but um, you know, there'll be others managing your account. So you won't have to worry about that. And there's also a lot of transparency for ETFs as well. Um, they do on a daily basis show exactly what's within your portfolio as well. So you can keep track that way. Uh, one thing about ETFs is that it's super convenient to be able to buy and sell. Um, you can just log into your online brokerage account and do so on a daily basis. But as mentioned earlier, there are commissions for both selling and, and 
purchasing of um, ETFs. And ETFs is also very good for those who um, just don't have time to uh, do all that research. Um, if they wanted to buy individual stocks for uh, dividend purchases as an example, because uh, yeah, it's all taken care of by the company that you um, buy the ETFs from. But you do need to keep in mind that uh, when the markets have a bull market where the stock market starts to rise and a lot of the profits are um, start going up for a lot of the companies, um, usually for individual stocks you'll see a great increase of um, profits that you can potentially make whereas for ETFs you won't be seeing much of an increase. So if you are looking for an active stock picking strategy, um, ETFs probably wouldn't be the best choice for you. Um, but you can always mix them up as well um, by mixing up ETFs as well as picking uh, some individual stocks as well. So there's a good balance for you from that perspective. Well, I think I am my vlog here today. Tell me what you think of ETFs and whether you would add them to your portfolio in the comment section below. If you like this vlog, please don't forget to give me a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell for more of my coming content here. Thank you for watching my vlog. I hope you have a great day and see you soon.